I am in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I've just had the honor of addressing Presbyterian Healthcare Services. But we are on a Indian reservation, and we are surrounded by this amazing adobe uh, uh, structures. And we're looking out across an Indian reservation, and right there behind me is the controversial Rio Grande River. And we've been talking about healthcare in America and healthcare as a human right and how so many Americans are willing to bet against their own best interests because they are aligned to an ideology and they are locked into a concept of this versus that and we are locked into a conversation around immigration and the challenges of, of immigration and I'm now in a state where the Rio Grande becomes this controversial river down in Texas uh, where it is this border with Mexico but as I stand here on an Indian reservation, and as I've interacted with American Indian people who live on this reservation, who are the oldest people in America, they are the true founders of America. They've been here. They have been tr transversing across this continent. They have been involved in the healthcare of this continent. They've been involved in the ecology of this continent. Every one of us is an immigrant to the American Indian. And yet, the worst genocide in human history happened on this continent, in this country, in this region. Of how people were wiped out, how people were then forced off their lands and then put onto reservations. And it's such a tragedy. And to be here to see this firsthand, to meet these people and to understand the history, the DNA, the genetics of where they are, where they've come from. We as a society have to do better. We have to understand that there is a very big, big picture in this world. And we don't just see the wedges, but we actually see the entirety of the picture. And we have to come to realize that nobody is right. There are no absolutes. This is all about compromise. This is all about recognizing our roots, but recognizing what we have to do better. As I spoke at Presbyterian Healthcare Services today, I spoke about the dedication that these healthcare professionals have brought to the state of New Mexico, the commitment they have made to the well-being, but we have to go beyond and not just look at the well-being of America, but look at our role in the world as how do we create a well-being of our entire planet? How do we appreciate this desert versus the mountains of the Dominican Republic and the diversity that I experience of transversing between so many different cultures and so many different sceneries and so many different uh, aspects of life. We have to embrace this diversity in our human soul of who we are and look for what do we have in common and how do we bring that common interest so that we can support each other and lift each other up and not be divided by our differences but be united by those many similarities that we truly have. To be a healthy world, we have to have a healthy soul. And that healthy soul lays in some of the messages of the soul of the American Indian people. So let's not forget where we are, where we come from, to where we can go. But this is where we stand right now, in this beauty of the world. And right now, I'm looking at the beauty of New Mexico.